OK, so let's just go ahead and start by reading the question. It says a distribution of values is normal with a mean of 227.2 .2 and a standard deviation of 82.3. Find P20, which is the score separating the bottom 20% from the top 80%. Enter your answer as a number accurate to four decimal places. All right, awesome. So I am going to share my screen so that we can work this problem out. So we are given uh, the mean or mu, which is 227.2. We're also given the standard deviation or sigma, which is 82.3. And another really important fact is that uh, the distribution is normally distributed because if it wasn't, we would not be able to use this uh, technique to find our answer. So it's saying find uh, P20, where P20 is the score separating the bottom 20 from the top 80. And this is just another way of saying find the 20th percentile. So when we're looking for a percentile in a uh, normal distribution, there's a formula that we can use, which is uh, x equals mu plus z uh, sigma. So we already know what mu is. We know what sigma is. Um, we are actually looking for this x right here. So the last thing that we need to take a look at is what is this z? Well, the z is a z score, and this is used um, in normal distributions. Now, uh, normally, um, we're going to be using a z table here. And normally, when you're looking at a z table, you're given the z score first, and then you get a uh, resulting number. But we're kind of doing the backwards uh, approach where we are going to look at a number within the table and then figure out what the z score is. So because we are looking for the 20th percentile, um, we want to find a value in the table that's as close to 20% as possible. And um, I've highlighted it here. And in order to figure out what the z-score is, you just follow the row and the column. So if we follow the row here, we have negative uh, 0 0.8. And I know this is a little confusing because the top row is not in terms of negatives, but it just tells you what the what the next decimal is. So we end up with a z-score of negative 0 0.84. All right, that's correct. Now, if you were looking for a different percentile, let's say uh, not the 20th percentile, but the 30th, you would do the same thing, except you would find the number that's closest to uh, 30%, which will probably be this one right here. Um, but we're looking at the 20th percentile. So now that we know the z-score, we could just plug it into the formula. And um, we should get our answer. So we have x equals mu plus z, and then the standard deviation. So x equals uh, 227.2 plus negative uh, 0.84 times uh, 82.3. OK, and then when you plug this into a calculator, you should get 158. I'm oh, sorry, 0 0.068. So here's the answer here to this question. Now, if you ever want to check if the answer makes sense, um, we can just take the mean, which is 227.2, and we'll subtract that, subtract one standard deviation from the mean, 82.3, which is 144.9. And the reason this is like a good check is because if we have a normal distribution, Here's the uh, 50th percentile right here, if you want to look at it that way. If you go one standard deviation, or here, let me um, 
we can put zero here so it's standardized. If we go one standard deviation this way, uh, this block is actually going to have uh, like 34 percent. So if we do 50 percent minus 34, uh, we get 0.16. So this this is the the 16th percentile, and our answer is greater than that, which makes sense because we're doing a little bit over that. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to message me. Thank you.